you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. So whenever you mention Waves plugins, there's always a collective groan from producers, probably because of the Waves update plan. But genuinely, they still have some really great plugins that I wouldn't want to be without. And they've just dropped a brand new one. And honestly, this one looks really interesting. It's called Waves Harmony. And basically, it's a plugin that you put on any single vocal within your track, and it will give you harmonies. It will give you up to eight different voices that can be layered in with that original vocal. Now, this plugin isn't exactly unique. For example, Isotope's Nectar has been doing this this for years. However, it's the way this plugin works with MIDI that got me most intrigued. So let's jump into it and I'll show you some of my favorite features of this new plugin. So to give this a go, I thought I'd try this out on a brand new track that I'm working on. It's actually a drum and bass track and I've got a vocal in here that I've just got from Splice and I want to see if I can do something interesting with it. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. So yep, yeah, this is a drum and bass track. If you watch this channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I mostly produce house, but I like kind of jumping between genres and producing different things, just to kind of play around, have a bit of fun within the studio. And this idea just kind of came together. The vocal is the last thing that I've added to this. And it's basically just a vocal from Splice. And I want to do some interesting stuff with it. At the moment, it's kind of, it's very much just a single vocal. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. I've already put a few effects on there just to get it working with the track. So I'm just going to disable them for now. And I'm going to place harmony straight on this track. It probably works best if you put it before all your effects. Now I'm not going to go over every single feature in this video. I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I really like about it. And when you first start the plugin up, you have to kind of choose what key you're working in. So by default, it's C major. I know with this track, I am working in D minor. So I'm going to switch to that. And by default, the plugin will actually apply a correction to your vocal. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. You can hear it just slightly snapping to the scale. I don't actually want that with my main vocal and I'm going to turn that off here. So that you in the middle, that is actually the original vocal. And then what you can do is add extra voices around that just by clicking anywhere within this kind of radar to then add that voice. For example, if we put one on the left hand side here, it'll add a new voice within here at minus five on the pitch. I'm actually going to increase this to maybe a plus three. And I put another one on this side as well. Let's put it as a plus seven. In fact, he's done it as a plus seven. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. You've also got a whole load more controls on the left hand side here for manipulating each one of those voices. For example, the formant, which is something that was actually on their vocal bender plugin as well. I'm guessing this is kind of an evolution of that. But that's really the basics of adding voices manually. However, that's not probably how I'd actually use this plugin because it has an even more amazing feature than that. I'm going to get rid of these voices from within here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to control this with MIDI. So I'm going to add a new MIDI track within Ableton. I'm then going to set the output of this to the main vocal. You can see under here, it says Waves Harmony. So it's actually going straight into Waves Harmony. This will obviously change depending on what door you're working in. So basically what I've got now is I have my MIDI keyboard here, which as soon as I hit a key, it goes in through this MIDI channel and then from there into the main vocal channel and into Waves Harmony. So as soon as I hold down a key on my MIDI keyboard, for example, D, it will then add a voice to here. If I then add another key within there, so I'm holding down an F, it will then put another voice on here. And then if I hold down another one, that'll give me an A. You can see here I'm building up a very, very basic kind of D minor chord. And it's actually adding those voices within here. Let's hear how that sounds. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. If you 
give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. It's just amazing it can do all of that in real time. So you can hold down full chords on your keyboard and it'll actually transform those chords into voices, which is fantastic. Now, rather than use my MIDI keyboard, I'm actually going to draw in a MIDI clip within here and compose the chords that I want to use. If you give yourself a nut, if you, if you give yourself a nut, if you give yourself a nut, if you give yourself if you give yourself a night, if you give yourself another chance then I if you give yourself another chance if you give yourself another chance then I'll do the same if you give yourself another chance then I'll do the same cause we've got these broken Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to If you give yourself another chance then I'll do the same Cause we've got these broken pieces that we Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange If you give yourself another chance then I'll do the same Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange If you give yourself another chance then I'll do the same Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange I think that's sounding pretty decent actually. I was really just playing around with the chords there to get the progression that I was looking for with those voices. But this is what it looks like within Waves Harmony with those MIDI notes. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. I really love that last chord especially, but there's loads of other things that I can actually do within here to tweak it further. If I click on the notes button here, this will allow me to actually change all of the notes that are being played via MIDI. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange If you give yourself another chance then I'll do the same Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange As you can see there I was just taking the level down of the original vocal so all you've got is the harmonies then If you give yourself another chance then I'll do the same Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. There's also some really interesting controls underneath this global button as well. The glide allows you to glide the notes from one to the other. It sounds really interesting. First of all, I'll take down that original vocal so you can just hear the harmonies on their own. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we... I kind of like it with no glide, actually. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. That spread control works really nicely as well because you've got that original vocal quite center and then all the harmonies are kind of being spread quite nice and wide. It's working really well. Let's get my effects back on here again. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to arrange. It really does thicken that main vocal up. And even though this is kind of taking the track away from what I originally started it as, this would make a really kind of nice breakdown moment, different to the one that I've already got, because at the moment, those keys are probably going to clash a little bit. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Because we've got these broken pieces. 
yeah, I've just got the single chord within there for those keys. But what I could do is actually just drop that MIDI clip out there. I've already got these chords from that MIDI track here and I could just use these. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to erase. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. We've got these broken pieces that we need to erase. If you give yourself a if you, if you give if you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to erase. Yeah, that's probably gonna take a bit more work. But the idea is kind of there. I could use those chords maybe with a Juno synth or a Rhodes pad or something to create a nice kind of gentle break and then go back into that kind of main rhythm that I've got with the track. But I'm so impressed with that wave's harmony. It just sounds so good on this vocal. If you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to if you give yourself another chance, then I'll do the same. Cause we've got these broken pieces that we need to erase. You know what? I'm really impressed with this plugin. Usually I don't get that excited about brand new plugins because usually they're just a new compressor or a new limiter and there's only so much stuff you can do with that. However, I get more excited about the more creative plugins, ones that kind of spark ideas. And I think that's really the case with Waves Harmony. You can take those kind of standard vocals that you find on Splice or on Loop Cloud or wherever and apply Waves Harmony and really kind of make them your own, kind of make them really fit with your track. I mean, for example, with this track that I'm working on at the moment, I already had the vocal and the track already there. But if I just had the vocal on its own and I had Waves Harmony, that could have really sparked the idea for the whole track. I could have come up with the whole chord structure, the progression, just from that kind of harmony of vocal. I'm really impressed by it. And at the moment, it's actually on an introductory offer at $40. So it's actually, it's actually a real bargain, especially if you don't have Vocal Bender, because I really reckon that this contains most of the stuff with Vocal Bender. I've already bought Vocal Bender, so I've got no backsies on that. However, I'm definitely getting hold of this. I've got it on trial at the moment and I wanted to try it out to see what it was like. And I'm definitely buying this while it's on the introductory offer. I'll put a link underneath this video to that offer, but I definitely recommend trying it out. Even if it's just on the trial, give it a go because it's really fun to play around with. Right, 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 right now. I'm gonna bring it back to the phone.